Okay, we're going to work on this another day. My job is to solve for X and Y. Okay, it's like a puzzle. You got two parts. You got X equals 2Y plus 1, and then 7X minus 2Y equals 1. Okay, so what I've done here is I've made kind of a packet for this. Made a packet. We're not going to be graphing. What we're going to be doing is using what's called the substitution method. So it gives me a step-by-step -step process. Since you have an isolated variable all by itself, we will be using substitution. So you box the isolated variable and circle the other side. So I box the x, circle the other side. Now we need to write the other equation. So I write that 7x. Please write that as plus negative 2y. You should get rid of all minus signs with plus negatives. The variable that you box needs to be removed from the equation and replaced with a parenthesis. So the variable I box is x. So we need to remove x from the equation, replace it with a parenthesis. Blank parenthesis. Now I widen my parentheses, and I'm going to insert the expression from the other side of the box variable. Now you should have matching variables. Okay, so widen that parentheses. Remember the rest of the stuff, plus negative 2y equals 1. And you're going to put what's on the other side. So x has been replaced, and it's equal to 2y plus 1. So 2y plus 1 goes in here. Okay, now we can solve for the variable y, because we have matching y's. So rainbows, so it's going to be 14y, and that's going to be 7. We also have the plus negative 2y equals 1. Okay, so I box my y's. Now they are on the same side, so we just go ahead and add them. 14 plus negative 2 is 12y. Now we also have a plus 7 and a 1. Now I get the y by itself. So 12y equals negative 6. Now we need to underline. And the number that's multiplied by the y is a number we're going to divide by. Okay, so the answer is not negative 2. Negative 6 divided by 12 is negative 0 0.5. So that's my y. Okay, now plug your solution into the bubble, which allows you to solve for the other variable. So that means take your negative 0 0.5, put that in for that. So we're going to take 2 times negative 0 0.5 and then plus 1 to that. We'll need a calculator then to do that. I can tell you the answer. The answer is actually 0, but I'll just prove it on the calculator so you can see how you're doing it. So 2 times negative 0 0.5 and then plus 1. That's going to be 0. So you can get one of yours to be 0. That means that's where they cross. Okay, next one. <coughs> solving for x and you're solving for y. Okay, so box your isolated variable and then circle the other side. Write the other equation. The variable that you box needs to be removed from the equation and replaced with a parenthesis. So 4x plus 2y equals 12. Okay, so the box variable, the variable that you box needs to be removed. So this time it's y in the box, so the y is what I'm going to remove. Make a parenthesis equals 12. Okay, then we need to widen our parentheses. And the rest of the stuff stays. And then we put what's in the bubble. So 2x plus negative 1. Okay, now I, need, I, now I have matching x's and I can solve for x. Okay, you can't solve with the x and a y. You've got to manipulate it somehow so you have only x's. So 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And I still have this first 4x here, and then we have 12. Okay, so I'm going to box my x's. They're on the same side, so just plus them. What's 4 plus 4? It's 8x. 
Some of you are like, well, we can just cancel them. No, you can't. They're not on the, they're on the same side. Plus negative 2 and then 12. Then I plus 2, plus 2. So I end up with 8 times x equals 14. And then we divide both sides by the x multiplier. Okay, then 14 divided by 8. Probably need the calculator for that. 1.75. Okay, so x is 1.75. Now remember, it's x, so there's my first solution. Now again, to get your y, here's what y equals. So you just go into this little bubble and put 1.75. So y is equal to 2 times 1.75 minus 1. So just find what 2 times 1.75 minus 1 is. It's 2.5. So there's my other answer. The hard work's to get in the first answer, and then it's, a, it's pretty much a walk in the park. Okay, next one. 4x plus 3y equals 14, and then y equals 2x minus 1. Okay, so again, here's my isolated variable, bubble the other side. Then you're going to write 4 times x plus 3 times y equals 14. So the y is the box variable, so that's a variable that needs to be removed and replaced. Now widen that parentheses because you've got to fit this whole expression in there. Okay, and then it's 2x plus negative 3. Okay, so I've got 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and then plus the 4x right there, and then we have 14 on the other side. Okay, so again, your x's are on the same side, so we can just go ahead and add those, and that's going to be 10x plus the negative 9 equals 14. By the way, we're solved. Put your x and y equals down there. So plus 9, plus 9. So we have 10 times x equals 23. Then divide by 10. 23 divided by 10 is 2.3. So that's our answer for x. Okay, so I get rid of the x now in the bubble, and now I know I can just put a 2.3 there. Okay, so if y equals 2 times 2.3 minus 3, we're going to take 2 times 2.3 minus 3, and that's 1.6. Okay, my next problem. So again, you're always using, this is the only page you're going to be looking at today. I mean, so there's... Solving for x, solving for y. So here's my isolated variable. Circle the other side. Okay, so I write my other equation. 5 times x plus 6 times y equals 8. And whatever variable's boxed, that's what I'm going to be removing. So 5 parentheses plus 6y equals 8. Now widen that. Okay, and x equals negative 3y plus negative 7. Again, you want to make that plus negative as you're filling out. Now I have two matching y's. As long, it doesn't matter what they are, what the variables are, but as long as they match, you should have either two x's or two y's. Here I have two y's. If you have an x and a y, you screwed up. 5 times negative 3y is negative 15y, and 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. And then we also have the 6y. Okay, so I box my y's. Again, they're on the same side, so you just plus them. That's simple. Add negative 15 plus 6. It's negative 9. So negative 9y plus negative 35 equals 8. Now I pretty much just keep rolling. Okay, so negative 9y equals 43. Okay, now I'm going to get a not very nice answer here. Now you need to round that to negative 4.78, round to the nearest hundredth. So that's my y. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, negative 4.78. So x is going to equal approximately negative 3 times negative 4.78 minus 7. So negative 3 times negative 4.78 minus 7. Okay, I got 7.34 then for that one. Okay, so you can't stress over the decimals. It's fine if you get them. Now, here's one thing I do need you to do. I need you to put a 1 in front of this Y right here. Otherwise, bad stuff's going to happen. Okay, the equation that doesn't have the isolated variable, those variables need to be covered. Same thing here. Put a 1 in front of your X. Then I think we're good. And that's a 4Y right there.